Hey y'all, welcome back to Lightworks. I hope that you are blessed and well. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. There will definitely be something in this video or in any of my other videos that the divine wants you to see or hear. So welcome. If you are returning, hey soul family, what's going on? I hope that you are well. I hope that you are keeping that energy cleansed and those vibes high. So thanks again for rolling with your sis. So let's go ahead and take a few long deep breaths. Inhale positive life force energy. Exhale and release any stress or anxiety that you're feeling at this time. Most High God, Divine Holy Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Divine Beings of the Highest White Light, Divine Ancestors of the Highest White Light, please come in and connect with me now. Please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what we need to know at this time. Let there be none of me and all of you. Archangel Michael, please protect our energy. Please close the door on anything that is not of the highest white light. Please and thank you. Okay, so I was guided to these three decks, okay? I feel like there's a few messages coming that will come out of each one. Okay, we love to do this. Expose the devil, okay? So there's something that's coming out that will expose the devil, that will give reference to the Most High, okay? Some type of oath and bond that someone took, potentially with the devil, or your oath and bond with the higher-ups, the divine, okay? Or both. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We're going to expose something to Zach. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, they're guiding me to pull the two cards from this deck. Okay. What is the message, Holy Spirit? Guide me to it. <laughs> 444. Talks about protection. Okay, this one's jumping play the game okay so this is like we're not playing no games okay Archangel Michael's in the building you are protected thank you Holy Spirit this person <laughs> whatever this is they've been guided by your spiritual army to turn around so maybe someone's trying to infiltrate your energy or space with 444 being here your spiritual army is too strong they're like forget about it <laughs> okay what is the message holy spirit what are we exposing today Powerful, loud, and not just a human in the reverse, okay? They don't want me to take these cards, but this is significant, okay? So someone wants to make it seem like uh, you are powerless, okay? That what you're speaking or the impact that you have is not being seen or heard, okay? But you are powerful. Whatever you're doing, it's loud, okay? It's being seen, it's being heard, okay? And it's making some type of impact, okay? And with not just a human in the reverse, this person, you're not just a human, but this person is trying to 
paint an image of you being a regular degular that they can manipulate and control. Not so, says the Most High God. Extraction. Okay. So your guys have protected you from this energy. You've been extracted. But they're telling me no. They don't want me to take those out. I'm supposed to be pulling the card. This one. Chakra work. I feel like these people have been trying to, to work on your chakras. Okay. Bottom of the deck, you are protected by the divine. We can see that. That's what this message is about. Okay. So we have by <laughs> on the bottom, but it was in the reverse because this person's not listening. They're not taking the signs. Okay. They're not staying out of your energy and they're going to be taken out by force. Changes are coming. Okay. Now let's get to the T deck. What's the T? See what the over. Okay, they're saying these are going to come out, so I don't have to pull these. Okay, we have boss daddy and no facts. Okay, so there's somebody here that thinks they're powerful, that thinks they're a boss daddy, but there's no facts to prove that. <laughs> He got a big ego. She got a big ego. This person is karmic. Whoever this is that thinks they can strong or Archangel Michael. They're a spiritual hater. I just saw ego too. Somebody's got a huge ego. What is the message? What is the T? Scarcity tactics. And cyberbully, okay? So somebody's trying to, you are being bullied online or there are, or they are, what? Okay, there's whoever, yeah, I'm not going to get into that, but um, whatever they're sending to you is coming back to them, basically. But this card is a little written, it's a little bit off with what they wrote, but that's neither here nor there. Okay. Huh, I take that as an omen. So whoever this person is, is not all there, okay? They don't have the facts. They're not, uh wrap too tight my disclaimer i am not a mental health professional um i'm not a medical doctor or a lawyer legal issues could be relevant so please do seek those professionals if you need assistance in those areas so with scarcity tactics and cyber bully i feel like this person might be trying to do something to your platform if you have one. Yeah, and that's a bad habit. This person could also be using substances to cope with their incompetence. <laughs> or, the, yeah, this person is a wolf in sheep's clothing, so they're fake. Okay, they have uh, accepted dirty offers or are trying to give you a dirty offer. Okay, I feel like it's heavily online. It's, it's like Page of Swords energy. Yeah, photo proof. Stalker. This is Page of Swords energy. They want both of these out. Yeah, dirty offer. So somebody could be soliciting something to you. Looks like you're unbothered. Somebody's trying to set you up to take the bait on something so that they could so that they can what Holy Spirit what are they trying to do they want to make it seem like you have the bad habits they're trying to get some compromising photos of you and put them online they're stalking you online multiple people obsessively watching whatever you're doing
Okay, they're saying that this is the primary energy here, this stalker energy. Hmm. So th this is here. I feel like they're doing some type of root work is what I'm hearing. They're trying to do some type of spell work to um, destabilize you to, okay, I heard root and sacral, okay? So they don't want you to be in your creative energy. They want you to stop doing whatever you're doing online. They're trying to find some type of strategy to take your clientele away or to get people to turn away from you by trying to produce some type of proof, which is false, about you doing something, um, maybe using drugs or trying to convince people that you're fake, that you're playing a game, you're not really real. Um, just somebody that's bored, basically. What do you... Okay, they're guiding me to the energy oracle. <laughs> because the divine, the universe is stepping in and this person, whoever they are, are going to suffer some emotional losses for trying to harass you and come for you. Because I don't care about you. Mm -mm. Or your destiny. God don't care about you. Yeah, you don't have any fond memories of this person. Whoever this person is in your energy, you ain't no love. I don't feel any hate, but I feel like... Ooh, my nose is itching. I feel like you... Uh, mm -mm. You've moved on to your Ten of Cups energy, to your firm foundation, Four of Wands elsewhere with someone else changes are coming what's the energy here that we need what is what do i need from here okay the waiting game in the reverse okay so this is the waiting game is over no they want it down here okay what else holy spirit do we need this one toward a value okay somebody's mad about the value that you have the value that you are obtaining the way that people love you the way that you're loving yourself they want you in this financial constraints and they want you in the ten of cups in reverse okay they want you to not have a happy family they don't want you to have anything they're trying to take scarcity to minimize diminish take away financial they just want you broke and unhappy no can do we can't go for that they're trying to mirror you but they're broke and broken and you have this value because you've gone within 31 and 13 they're mirroring each other but no this is the exact opposite okay broke <laughs> and uh full Okay, this is like, and this is not, doesn't all have to be monetary. This is not all about money. This is about your perspective on life, your positivity, your divine guidance. You're going within, seeing the value in the divine and being upright. This person is an empty vessel that's being used by the devil. And this person is not going to have a happy life or a happy family. Because they're steadily trying to destroy yours. What's on the bottom? Anxiety. That's for certain. Because this person is... Being used by the devil. Holy Spirit. They wanted me to clarify these. So let's do it. Look what I opened it up on. King of Swords to the Judgment. Archangel Michael out here with the heavy protection. God is not playing. Didn't I say God don't play about you? No, no, no. 
I just want to stop and say I love y'all. My collective, my soul family, my loved ones here. I love y'all. God is truly amazing because God has really brought the right people here that mesh well with my divine purpose and not this is not about me so if you know you know if you know who i am and who i've been thus far on this channel you already know that this is not about me i do not matter when it comes to relaying the messages that god has but i'm just so grateful because i'm happy that god is allowing me to relay these types of messages although they get a little crazy sometimes it is what it is but for the most part the 444 energy the god ain't playing no games energy is because the people that are here that are meant to be here you really do love god you really are trying to be a better person you really are doing the work to heal and change your life to change the world to be a positive light in the world and I feel very honored and grateful for you whoever you guys are okay I love y'all I really do I just had to say that because I have been you know I've watched reads before and I feel like the energy and the way we co-create the energy is me being granted the opportunity to tap into the collective energy and for the most part it's beautiful okay the energy is good now that don't mean there ain't no stragglers in here okay ain't no we got stragglers in here definitely mine and yours okay but they will not supersede and override what the divine is doing okay and i believe i'm i'm uh an optimist but God is going to work through these messages to, to touch their hearts too. these dark folks. Okay. They're going to get some of this love and kindness and peace and joy and cleansing and hermit energy and shadow work and all of this because they're going to stay stalking and they're going to stay listening to all of this goodness that we're trying to bring out. So welcome aboard. <laughs> anyway, I just had to stop and say that because... I am so happy that y'all are here that I don't have to pull on a bunch of dark people that have no good objectives. I, I mean, it's just a beautiful thing. I just had to say that. So yeah, I love y'all. I do, I do, I do. I feel like Archangel Michael wants to be out because his car keeps popping up. So let me put Archangel Michael right over here by the Palo Santo, okay? That clearing energy. Page of Swords. Didn't I just say Page of Swords? Page of Swords. I'm trying to tell you they're watching. And some of these, a lot of these people, we are aware are the ones that are doing all of this dark work, okay? They're on assignment. We are too. Why is 444? Okay, they said don't worry about it. 444 is basically Archangel Michael and your spirit guides and uh, ancestors that are always watching over you, protecting you. What's play the game in reverse? That's they don't play about you. I just heard that. Okay, they don't play. But we still gonna see what else. Because there, somebody else is playing the game. Why is play the game here, Holy Spirit? Okay, we got the lovers. That's falling on top of cyber bully and play the game in the reverse. So this is the energy of someone that's trying to be unsuspecting. This could be a loved one. We I think we did see wolf in sheep's clothing. So someone that uh, okay, the card just flipped. 
So someone's about to get flipped, okay? Something's about to come up quickly. The tables are turning. Something's about to get flipped over. Somebody's about to be exposed. We saw expose the devil. Okay, so this is a lover, an ex-lover, a loved one. Um, that's playing a dangerous game. While they're trying to get insight and intel on you, they're on candid camera. Okay, we got the three of swords that creeped out here. On top of changes are coming. Clarifying, play the game. So they're whatever they're doing online, they're trying to hurt you in some type of way. They've been doing a lot investing and trying to bring you down, trying to make you be in this regretful, disappointed energy. But justice is here. What are the scarcity tactics, Holy Spirit? Scarcity tactics. Mm. High priestess in the reverse. This is falling on top of 444. So there is a dark high priestess involved in this. Someone that is like a dark witch that's uh, doing some type of dark spell work to try to take things from you. Scarcity. Remove things. Remove your resources. Remove your protection specifically because it fell on top of 444. Archangel Michael is looking down at this person like, you fool. Okay, this person, this is somebody that thinks they got it though. Strength to the nine of uh, cups. This person thinks that they're powerful. Their wishes are going to be uh, granted. This person is a heavy duty in what they do, okay? But God. But God. Give me one more for scarcity tactics and high priestess in the reverse. They're also, you could be a high priestess that they're trying to turn uh, paint as dark. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Because I said they want to make it appear like you are dark. You're doing uh, dark deeds, spell work. You're also on drugs or uh, using substances and they're trying to get you in a compromising position to paint you as this person so that they could take away from your clientele or your business if you have a business yeah they want to take from you ace of swords that's the truth give me one more for scarcity tactics and high priestess in the reverse also their secrets are coming out. High Priestess talks about secrets. It's in the reverse. So something's coming out. What is this? Holy Spirit. Scarcity tactics and High Priestess in the reverse. This is falling on top of four, Three of Swords. Play the game in reverse. And the Lovers. Queen of Swords in the reverse and Knight of Cups. This is somebody that is a very cold, calculated piece of work. Very volatile, very foul mouth, foul language. Um, very aggressive person. Doesn't like you very much. Okay, this could be about a King of Pentacles. So this could be an air sign or an earth sign. doesn't have to be but just somebody that does not like you does not want to bring any love into your world they want to bring a lot of hate and turmoil and chaos and conflict into your world this person is a cold piece of work so this is the person that's doing this this person could also be the dark high priest or high priestess why is cyber bully here I just heard hacked, so they could be trying to hack your devices to try to get intel. Why is Cyberbully here? Cyberbully. Yeah, they're trying to hack your devices to do something to betray you. If given the opportunity. Okay, but I feel like you're... 
You're protected. Number one, we have 444 coming out. They're also, thank you, Holy Spirit. They're also trying to get money from you. I heard hacks, so they may be trying to get into your devices to take money from you, to hurt you. Also to see how much money you have or what type of work you are doing to create stagnancy for you. They're trying to do the most. What's bad habits? Why are bad habits here? I feel like these people are on using some type of substances. Magician. We already knew they was doing some type of spell work with the Dark High Priestess here. With bad habits, uh, this person could be addicted to doing spell work on you. Bottom of the deck, page of wands. Okay. This person could be traveling to connect with someone to do spell work on you or waiting to hear about this spell work being effective. There's something significant about, I was saying they're definitely doing some type of root work, chakra work, sacral chakra work to try to win. Why is the magician here? And this is definitely a bad habit because whoever you are, you are heavily protected by the divine. So it's a definitely a bad idea and a bad habit. Why is the magician in the bad habits here, Holy Spirit? Knight of Swords in the reverse. This person's, I feel like this person might use drugs or use some type of substances and then do spell work and really make some really rash decisions. Knight of Swords is about, in the reverse, it's somebody that's very aggressive, impulsive, volatile, just does stuff on a whim. So this person could be using something and then getting into this very crazy, aggressive Queen of Swords in the reverse, Knight of Swords in the reverse energy and doing this spell work on you. But this person is being heavily, heavily watched in the 3D. I mean, here, there might be some type of Fed, CIA, FBI, DEA. Some uh, There's a lot of people watching this person. These people, I heard. These people. These people are being watched heavily, energetically, and here by angels as well. Archangels. Archangel Michael is here already. What's the Knight of Swords in reverse? They're showing me something here. Ooh, what's the Knight of Swords in reverse? Yeah, something. They're showing me something right now. Ooh, Holy Spirit. What's the Knight of Swords in reverse? Yeah. I said this person was traveling. They're going somewhere to somebody for them to do this root work, this this work to put, well, there's work right here, to put you, Queen of Cups energy, in this heavy burden energy. They're guiding me to put that back. There's something else here for this Knight of Swords. What am I picking up, Holy Spirit? This is some, this is some unalive magic this person is trying to get. What is this Knight of Swords energy I'm picking up on the Holy Spirit? Ace of Wands. Queen of Wands in the reverse. I'm trying to tell this. There's some very dark and grimy people here. That's okay. This is definitely some type of dark which okay that they've gone to this person that they've gone to 
is supposed to be all powerful, okay? <laughs> With the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands in reverse, this person, this Dark High Priestess energy is one of the best that that they consider to be a dark person that is very very powerful that is able to turn this into this <laughs> that type of energy they've been successful in many cases in destroying people's lives and unaliving people and creating what whatever type of outcome that their clients want this is the person that everyone goes to this dark energy and then came you heavily protected by archangels and angel spirit guides divine beings divine ancestors and the most high god okay the lulu this person is nuts if they think anything that they could conjure up in god's God's earth and world. They're Delulu. What's the Queen of Wands? Tell us about this Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, they're saying this this could be the same person. Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, Knight of Swords. All three are in the reverse. Or this could be a team of dark warlocks and witches. A coven of dark people that are eyeing this beautiful, kind, and sweet king or queen of cups that is heavily divinely protected. What's going on with this queen of swords, queen of wands in reverse, knight of swords, this group of people? What's going on here? Karma. Karma. You cannot escape the karma. Mm -mm. God said, ain't nothing going on with these people. Do you see how God is cutting to the chase? There ain't no plan. Look at this. Play the game in reverse. 444 four, four, top of the read. God don't play about you, okay? God is like, I'm not about to play. We're not about to sit here all day talking about these people. It doesn't matter. Karma is here and I'm here, says the Most High God. Bye. <laughs> Went right back to you. God don't play about you. God don't play about you. Mm -mm -mm. What's the photo proof? Archangel Metatron just stepped in. They've been seen, okay? These these devil energies that we are exposing today, I believe that was the card that first came out. They've been seen, okay? I said that they were trying to show me something, that the sun was on the bottom of the deck. Her compromising position. What's the photo proof in the devil that I just saw, Holy Spirit? Angel Metatron. This is specifically Archangel Metatron. Devil back on the bottom. So Archangel Metatron has seen photo proof something that these folks are doing along with these Hierophant energies which are being represented by some type of institution in the 3D. Okay, we saw the Hierophant a minute ago. Archangel Metatron has seen it all. <laughs> seen it. Y'all already know. Seen it, seen it. Whatever these people have been doing to come against you is on candid camera. You are protected from it. Do not worry. All that they've been doing, trying to fight. I just went from the five of swords to the five of wands. Whatever they... Mm, 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 mm. Whatever they've been doing. There it is. Look at this. This is over this whatever they've gonna got caught doing whatever archangel metatron and these higher ups have seen them doing either through some type of photo proof some type of something on a device okay because that's what they tried to do to you they tried to hack your device they might have tried to set you up by putting something 
on your device. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Whatever they've done, they've they've been caught. They've been caught and you're gonna hear about it. And it's over. Death card. Holy Spirit, what is this? What what did they get caught doing, Holy Spirit? Okay, I heard no. I heard they were doing too much, but they don't want to expose it. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. They were doing too much. Whoever this was, this is like gung-ho energy, very passionate, very aggressively going towards whatever they want to manipulate and control the situation, but very premature. The Knights talk about like the energy of a teenager that's not making the best decisions. This is that energy. Ooh, 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 ooh. They're saying clarify death. Overload on the bottom of this deck. Whoa. I heard take down, okay? So they could be guided to take something down off of a site. They could be taken down. They are being taken down, I'm, here, I'm hearing. Okay, somebody's being taken down to some type of jail or court. They were trying to take you down, but nope should have hesitated should have stopped should have listened to the little voices inside their head or on their shoulder the one that was guiding them to stop doing what they were doing but they did not see it that way they kept doing it this is a heavy duty group though this this up here is still surging so i heard they knew better so whoever these people are, are like veterans in this industry, okay? They already know, but they allow the devil to use them. They allow the devil to use them. Wow. Why? What's the death card? Why am I clarifying the death card? Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm. I just finished saying they allowed the devil to use them. They had some type of contract with the devil to take out a sweetheart. And they're not going to be able to withdraw from what they did. They can't. I'm clarifying the death card, okay? Their decision, this vow they took with the devil to bring in storms and towers for the sweetheart, Queen of Cups energy, that's you, will result in endings the death card maybe literally maybe figuratively endings are abound and they cannot withdraw it because god said so on the bottom of the deck again we had the judgment on the bottom of the first deck tell me god ain't coming through speaking you win okay always because you are a divine one working for the divine protected by the divine they do not play about you too much evidence against these people. <sighs> Man, they messed up. What do we need to know about the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Wands in the reverse, and the Knight of Swords? Three people, okay? That's three different people. Or for some of you, it could be all the same person, but there's a, this is some type of coven group. Some of these people are going to go within. Some of these people are reconsidering what they've been doing. I just saw the stubborn car. So somebody here is not. And I feel like it's this Queen of Wands in reverse. No, they said Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this Queen of Swords in reverse is going to keep letting the devil use them. This is the Dark High Priestess here. This energy. that hates you. This person is taking it personal. We have Knight of Cups in the reverse, Queen of Swords in the reverse, High Priestess in the reverse. This person hates you. 
okay? I hate to say it like that, but they do. They are going to continue to let the devil use them until they get the, the, the results that they want. What's the outcome for the Queen of Swords in reverse? She believes she's going to win, or he believes he's going to win. They feel like it's ever This person is really cocky. Okay. Um, this person is studied in this area of dark magic. Okay. Intellect. Not, not so smart, but smart when it comes to knowing how to do whatever they're doing. So they think they're going to win with whatever they're trying to do. What's the outcome for the Queen of Swords in reverse, Holy Spirit? This person is just... Yeah, this person is going to keep letting the devil use them. This person... This person is like, I got all the time in the world. <laughs> this person is... In... <sighs> this person is going to keep trying to sacrifice you. This person is this bully energy. They don't care. They could see Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron sitting in front of them telling them to stop. This type of energy is not going to stop until they are confined. <sighs> this person is a cold piece of work. What else do we need to know about this Queen of Swords in the reverse? This, per this person is plotting right now, trying to figure out a new idea to come to you, towards you because what they've done thus far has not worked. They have not learned a lesson yet. Okay. They've been bruised. They've had experienced some type of pain, some type of accident, but they haven't learned the lesson. They're still going to keep trying. I feel like this is the last person of that group that's going to keep trying. The rest of these people are going within. Yeah, the rest of these people are now trying to partner with God. I don't know how that's going to pan out. I feel like God's turning a blind eye to some of this stuff that these people have been doing. And they're not, God is not trying to hear these people or see them. Yeah, they want it, but I don't feel like God is trying to hear them. Tell us about the Queen of Swords that won't stop, Holy Spirit. Yeah, again, this person is by themselves now. This person is joint with the devil at the hip. This person is a dark, dark, dark person. They've made some type of vow, promise with the devil. This person has completely sold their soul. Yeah, the devil convinced this person to sell their soul. The devil has occupied this person's real estate, this vessel. This person's been gutted, okay? This is an empty vessel that the devil has filled. This person is going to end up working on their own because these people over here, they see the light. They know that God is not playing. They know what their fate is for trying to come for a divine being. This one, not so much. This one is stubborn. Anything else for this Queen of Swords? This person's energy is unbelievable. God is telling you, Divine One, this is all a blessing. I feel like these people, I heard rallying the troops. So I feel like you are so very powerful or God is so very powerful in protecting you in from all of this that really could have taken somebody out, okay? God is saying, don't worry. This is a blessing because a lot of these people are going to get taken out all in one swoop. <laughs> and it's going to be a blessing for you because you're going to be free of that energy, okay? Because while I feel like you're not really affected by it. You may be feeling some of the effects of some of this stuff that these people have been sending. This person right now is trying to strategize on sending somebody towards you to make you believe they care about you, to come into some type of commitment with you, and then uh, strike to bring some type of loss 
in your life. This person can't get close to you, so they're trying to send somebody. Somebody that you would trust that looks like you. Looks like somebody that came from where you came from type of energy. This person could be sick right now or they're about to be. God is, God is working on this. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, this person is going to lose. That's, that's just period. This person is going to keep sending this to you. And it's just accumulating and pile up, piling up for this grand tower that the divine is going to send in that's going to end this person. The hand of God is on your life. You're good. You are good, my dear. This person, not so much. So be mindful of people that just watch the people around you. Really listen closely. Look at this. I'm surrounded by angels. I can't make this up. You definitely are. Whoever you are. There's, she's definitely, I feel like this is a woman. Okay, it could be a man and feminine energy. Very volatile energy. But this, they're trying to send somebody in that they believe you will. I said they. Hold on. So this person is now working by themselves, but I feel like they might have enlisted a new team. Yeah, they could have partnered up with someone new. Yeah, confirmation, three of coins. This talks about collaborations. So this queen of swords, though this other people, these other people have left or seen the light now, this person went off and got a whole new coven to come for you. They're doing the research right now, trying to figure out how to come in to win. <laughs> this person is a really, 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 really something else. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Well, let's see how that pans out for you. Holy Spirit, what's the message for our loved one? I'm ready to go big, rise up, and step into my power. So they're wanting you not to be afraid, okay? Because this person can't do anything to you. I don't care what they do. I claim my desires. I hold great visions. I am ready to receive, okay? The divine is about to bless you, I feel, with an, a new opportunity. We did see uh, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like you are about to be presented with a new opportunity to do something that you've been working on or wanting to work on. All that I need is coming to me in ways I could never have imagined. Yes. Okay. So whatever this is, is coming. I don't have to fear my fear. I can use it as a way to get closer to love. Okay. So they're wanting you not to be afraid of anything. When I tell you whoever you are for 444, Play the game in the reverse. King of Swords, Archangel Michael out here. Archangel uh, Metatron is also here. You are good. Fear not. Okay? I celebrate my progress. Awareness, not perfection, is the goal. Okay? So this is a side note for whatever you're working on. I feel like a lot of this energetic manipulation has maybe taking you off course a little bit um, because I feel like they were doing a lot of sacral and root chakra work on you to try to get you out of your creative flow. Okay, so just keep going. Keep doing whatever it is that you've been working on. It's going to start coming back to you the more that you step into it. You're about to do something huge and very powerful. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, I trust that my intuition is always leading me in the right direction. Okay, yes. Just continue to keep your energy cleansed and follow your intuitions. Okay, you are going to be given some downloads that will guide you in the right direction. Okay, never, ever, ever doubt your protection, whoever you are. I just heard that clearly. Okay, because you are so, so, so protected. Um, don't doubt that. Because these people... 
they thrive on emotion. They're showing me this person crying here. So if they can get you to be in some type of lack, emotion, sadness, whatever it is, they're going to jump on that. Okay. Look at this. Each time I choose to tune into spirit, guidance of the highest truth shows up for me, okay? Tuning into spirit means trusting your intuition, staying connected, knowing that you are protected, protected, okay? Knowing that your angels and guides are right there with you and calling on them if ever you feel any doubt, if you feel unsafe, if you feel scared, whatever you feel, call on them, okay? They are right there. And they're saying one more. When I make joy a priority, brilliant ideas will come naturally, support will surround me, and movements will form, okay? I just said this, literally. Stay in your positive energy, okay? Brilliant ideas are coming. When you are a vibrational match for your downloads, for the guys to connect with you, when you are open and receptive, when you call upon them, and you stay in this positive light and vibration, you're gonna get a lot of downloads and everything is gonna start coming together for you, okay? You don't, let me cover up this because this is working on my nerves here. So uh, know that this, all this nonsense around you is coming to an end, okay? It's going down, okay? These people are gonna see the true power of the Most High God like never before. These people are gonna be in this anxiety energy after realizing that they really, really, really messed up, okay? And you are about to be in your wish fulfillment energy. I love you, family. I really hope that the message has helped you. If so, please hit the like button, share, subscribe, join the family. I would love to have you. Check the Lightworks description, uh, Lightworks goodie bag in the description box if you need a meditation. And uh, if you feel inclined to donate to the channel, which is always greatly appreciated, my information for that, as well as to book a personal reading, is in the description box. Peace and blessings, family. I shame.